what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd. From the back, 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 from the back. All right, hey guys, we're doing a new episode of Talk of the Town, and today we have a special guest, Little Earl. So for people that don't know, where you from? Dallas, Texas, man. So what's it like? What's the Texas scene like with the music and stuff like that? It slept on. It's big, but it slept on. So you feel like it's supportive? A lot of Texas people say it's not supportive. Nah, not really. It's coming together though. So where you be getting love from? Like what areas? New York. It's crazy because New York is where my. It's mostly where all my music streamed at. Somebody from New York actually put me on to you. That's why I'm laughing. That's why I'm like, where? Yeah. Yeah. So um. So how do you get into music though? Dancing. I started dancing first, and then. I just wanted to start making money from it. I wasn't making no money with just dancing. I started making music. My first song was viral. That's why I kept going. Yeah. So at what age you started dancing now? Uh, 21. Yeah. 22 right now. At 21? Mm -hmm. You started dancing? Yeah. So you just started dancing? Yeah, like last year. Oh. Okay. So was TikTok influencing that? or? No, nah, I started off on Trilla, then, oh, yeah. then I moved to TikTok. Okay, so um, what, what made you like get in the studio and make that first record? The dude named Oboy Prince. He, it wasn't even recorded, I just made it on my phone and put it on TikTok. And went viral. But he hit me up and was like, yo, you gotta drop this song. And he just went yeah. in there. So then, so then how did that process go? You had to find the studio. Was anybody helping you with this? Oboy Prince, he took me to the studio. Recorded the song. Okay. Yeah, Y'all still cool to this day? Yeah, feel like him. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, would you say? So, would you say like all those like media platforms kind of like help you grow in a sense? Because you like you started on Triller, now you're on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, who would you say your music is for? The females, bro. This is just my first priority <laughs> for the girls. For the girls. Cause like so so, but it's mainly for people to dance so too, right? Yeah, yeah, you can have fun with it, but it's definitely for the females. But they just turn it. I turn it into dance music too, so it can both ways. Okay, and do you feel like um, does it bother you if guys don't fuck with it or? Hell no. <laughs> what the females? I don't care what the females. guys say. So like, when when did you know like girls was getting into your music? Was they like posting it more, tagging it more? Like how did you start seeing it? Man, majority of my followers is females on all my social sites. Okay. And my first song, it was just females dancing to it. So from there on, I just knew. Okay, so when did like when did you start to see the success going up? So you say it was dancing last year, got on TikTok. When did you see it like start going up? After the first song, what you what you got like fifty videos, you got followers? Like what was it? Mm -hmm. I say, yes, yeah, the music for sure. Music for sure got me going up. Yeah, I know, but what, what did you see changing, like, on your socials? Uh, my following, my, like, the, my age group, mm -hmm. type of following, views, for sure. Views, for sure. Yeah. And then, um, so, at what point did you, like, you yeah, I want to take this serious? Like, this one song that I'm featured on called Shake That Ass, too viral. After that, I want, yeah, that's when the time to go. Series, but it's crazy. The song that you got no streaming. A lot of drama behind that song. But so y'all still working it out, or you just like uh, it's that song dead? Damn, so you had to make a new one. Bring it back. Then you got um, bend it over. You got all these things. How does like your family feel about this? Like you play this around your mom and stuff. My mama, she old school. I don't, she don't even listen to my music. The crazy <laughs> thing. They support it though, but they don't know nothing about it. Does that bother you? Do you want to make a song for your mom? Or? I, know they, I know they type of music they listen to. It's like Johnny Cochran and stuff like that. That <laughs> oh, was cool. Okay. So um, so you said New York supports you a lot. So any New York artists reached out to you? Or how did you like? Nah. So you decided to come into New York? like My first time here. This first time here? So what you did yet? Did you do anything yet? When nah, I got a show later though. Show later today. You want to come back to New York? What's this one? So what's places that you gotta go that you heard that like, you gotta stop at? Man, uh, that's I heard man before. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. 
strip clubs. Strip clubs for sure. Yeah, all that, all that fun stuff. So, like, who was some of your first cosigns? Like, who were some people that started hitting you, following you, I like, guess, reaching out, mm -hmm. supporting? DJ Chose, B King, Tay Money, uh, Lil Ronnie. Texas people, really. Texas people. And then you have a song with B King, right? Mm -hmm. And how did that come about? So, uh, me and B King, we've been locked in before the music. Like, I used to always dance to his stuff. Mm -hmm. So, a nigga would see me back to back dancing to his shit. So, eventually, he followed me type shit. Mm -hmm. Then I started making music. Then I hit him up. I was like, hop on this track, you like that. And he hopped on the hook. Okay. And then y'all did the video yet? Yeah, we did the video. We still getting hit it. Okay, and we should see the video soon. Have done that. Okay. Okay. Soon. Soon. <laughs> okay. Are you working on a project right now? I just dropped my uh, album three weeks ago. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. So what vibes is on there for people that don't know? You got, you got five twerk songs. You got five party songs. Club songs. Club vibes. Yeah. Okay, so we definitely need some girls dancing to that. Most definitely. <laughs> so how do you like so girls just dance to your videos or like you reach out to people for promo like how do you go about marketing? TikTok, I just I just put the sound up myself and then go from there. I don't, I don't reach out to nobody, ask them to ask them myself. Mm -hmm. It's just really how life is if it's trending they gonna dance to it. Yeah. So you so you think marketing is important or you just ain't get to where you want to market it? Marketing is definitely important but right now I mean, marketing, you know, I don't do marketing though. I'm not saying it on no cocky shit. <laughs> I just dance and it go from there. Yeah. But so, marketing is still important though. I wouldn't say don't do it. Yeah, dancing is definitely a plus because a lot of artists can't dance. Thanks. So, like, are you signed or are you independent? Independent. Are you, do you want to sign a deal or are you want to stay there? I ain't tripping if I, if, if I don't. I mean, like, it's cool to come to come, but I'm chilling. I fuck with the independent. It's a vibe for sure. Yeah, so so you definitely making a lot of money off your music. All uh, me. For sure. And then um, and then so like, people tend to say like, oh, people that's viral TikTok are TikTok stars. Does that term bother you? No, I uh, that on you. I don't even pay no mind. So would you would like you want people to just say you're an artist, or does it doesn't bother you if they say you're like a TikTok star? Mm, I really don't bother me. To me, it's, it's fit all in one. I'm an influencer yeah, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Go all, all together. Artist, TikTok star, uh, dancer. All, all that one. stuff. So, so like, long as they remember everything. Facts. Okay. All right. And do you feel like it's pressure being that, um, not been the the other one went so viral? From the back, yes. Does it bother? Does do you ever wonder like, could I make another viral song like that? Do you feel pressure to? No, no pressure at all. Cause I back the old, bend it over, and hit a meal. So it was yeah. no pressure. Okay, so you think it comes natural? Yeah, it's just, it's just in me, really. Type shit. Okay, and then um, what's some of your musical goals? Like, what's some things you want to accomplish? Mm, well, definitely want to be at least top. Have a tape that's top ten trending type shit on like charts and stuff. So billboard charts. Billboard, like yeah, Apple yeah. Music charts. Billboards for sure. Apple Music. Billboards. Really, definitely want to be uh, have a gold record, all that. Gold record. Um, Certified. For sure. Yeah, I think I think one of your songs was well on the way to the gold records. Definitely. In the back, I feel like it'll be my first one, but I got some new shit in the chamber. <laughs> Just don't know yet. Yeah. So, um, so what was the um vision behind your project? Cause I remember your cover was like real in space. So, like, what was the vision? Like, what's the? Yeah, I was really playing the Earl. Like, I was in space works. It's a whole lot of ass, a whole lot of turn up. <laughs> Just playing the Earl. That's what was my plan. Yeah, it's a whole lot of ass, turn up, drinks, weed got down. Just. So being that like your music is like twerk music, like is dating like hard because they're like, oh, you always want to be around twerking? No, it's not hard. It's either she gonna, she know what comes with it. And she gonna <laughs> get us together, but she can't. So you feel like you feel like dating is like a distraction, or are you like open, or are you in a relationship, or 
Nah, that ain't no distraction. But you're not looking. It's kind of like if it happens, it happens. It happens, it happens. I'm chilling, though. Chilling. Yeah, so, um, so what's next for you? Uh, shit. Dropping the Deluxe. Deluxe City Project? Yeah, another project. Like a little five song EP. Mm -hmm. Got some features coming. Videos dropping. Connecting with anybody from New York? Nah, not, not yet. Not yet. Take my new movie. Oh, I'm already locked in with her. She heard. I know, but I think it's collabing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I'm sure. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> nah, I'm not sure. Nah, collab wise. You said, um, yeah. Lil Ronnie, I did a record of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck with Lil Ronnie? I'm not super, super into them, I don't know. I, I see like a lot of the TikTok records and I, I like follow them from there. So like I found you, I followed like the Philly guys, I started following like, um, there's a couple people in Philly, I'm not gonna lie. But a lot of people, it's hard to tell where you are from. Yeah, people, people didn't, people didn't I thought she was from Philly, know. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Only oh, cause like that's, that's the way the vibe, I mean, your song gives that vibe. Yeah. Uh, Dallas, Texas, though. Yeah, so yeah, it's really hard to tell where I'm from. Definitely, we gotta do some more interviews. Definitely, every time. Yeah, so um, so you say you're doing the Lexia project, mm -hmm. more collab on Is there anybody you wanna collab with? Not really, because I'm in a different lane, type of music. Mm -hmm. It's only certain people who make the type of music I do, and I pretty much already a collab with them. But I will be willing to collab with anybody though. But I can't think of nobody off top though. And if they wanted to collab, what should they reach out to? Instagram. Instagram, yeah, just DM me. Email. Email yes. in my bio. And um, tell people, I guess, where to find you. Where to find you? Fine, you can find me on Instagram, all social medias, L I L dot E A A R L. Two A's, not one. <laughs> Just like that on YouTube too. Tap in. And shout out Talk of the Town Show. Yes.